What's up everybody? How you doing? I got another flat top 2022. This one has a little bit of a special meaning to me. Uh, I've made friends with a gentleman out of Tioga, Texas and you guys may have heard of him. His name is Kerry Burleson. Just a great guy. I had an opportunity to meet him and uh, his wonderful wife Candy when I was down at the factory a little while back and uh, just good people man and, and anyways he's got a He's got a 379 that he built in this color. So I asked his permission to use this color. And um, I know it's not quite as beautiful. His truck has been in a lot of magazines, but I look forward to whoever is gonna buy this one and what they might wanna do with it. And so if you reach out to me, I'll, uh, I'll show you some pictures of his truck. And so thank you, Kerry, I really appreciate it. I appreciate your friendship even more, brother. not gonna say what exactly the paint code is on this one but uh, it's really good in the bright sunlight if you look at the edges um, of the sleeper and everything you'll see it has this real prevalent silver that kind of comes out on it so it's real nice we can do some uh, I got a chrome kit coming for it so I'm kind of duplicating a little bit of what Kerry was doing on his truck. Of course, his was a pre-emissions with a cat. Yeah, so, and his was a little bit longer wheelbase. Just a beautiful truck. He really did up the inside. Someday, when I get back down there to see Kerry, I'll, uh, I'll do a video on his truck. Beautiful truck. So, because we, um, are not sure about our uprate situation with Cummins this year. Uh, myself, myself and a counterpart of mine here in Colorado, you probably know, uh, we've been ordering some trucks in with 605s. Because uh, we don't know if we can uprate. So if you need a uh, 605 to hit the road, call me as soon as possible, 970-518-5520. We got some inventory on the ground. Did a 13-2 front with air ride, full disc brakes all the way around. Uh, dual leveling valves on the front, so you can adjust things. Def tank has changed a little bit. I talked about the dash. I'll say it again. If you guys don't want your dash to change. You, we need to call and either get your truck sold to you or ordered and built before July. And I can answer questions about that. I don't have the full details just yet. However, uh, I will know after February 1st. I know that a lot of you guys have seen the rumors out there. 22.5 tall rubber. Round hole rims. We can switch them out to uh, either Alcoa's or other oval rims or American Racing rims, whatever you like. 336 rears, full lockers, full disc brakes again. And again, it's a 280 wheelbase. Like I said, I've been going back and forth with Peterbilt quite a bit, trying to get the, the tank alignment where we need it to be. We've had a little bit of challenges here and there with that. So. But I think we got our iron, we got we got her ironed out, which makes me happy. So I was able to shave a little bit of weight off of this one. It weighs in at 18,256 out of the factory. It's another black and tan, sear seats. Of course, you all know why I put sear seats in trucks. The national seats are. Sometimes a little better suited for the flat tops, but most of the guys who buy them don't like them. They want to sit them on the floor a little bit further. Full gauge, package. Full diff lockers, again.
Put the uh, S bar bunk heater in the back, sliding rear window, business center inside there. Um, all the fixings in the sleeper that you can get with a flat top. And then the one thing that I try to never forget, but it's happened, is the CB speaker right here in the headliner. So, so there you guys have it. That's our Purple Pete flat top 2022. If you have any questions, give me a call 970-518-5520. And as always, if you like these videos, go ahead and click in the button in the bottom right hand corner and subscribe. We'd love to have you. And we'll talk soon. Stay safe, everybody.